My name is Lily Doan, and I am an associate conservator at LACMA at Watts Towers. The fragments, I think, is what catches everyone's eye. It's what gives color and life to the sculpture. If the ornaments weren't there, it would just kind of be a lot of gray concrete. I don't think it would be quite as charming and magical. Our goal during this treatment campaign is to try and stabilize the ornaments that are on the sculpture while they are still on the sculpture. Even if the ornaments aren't loose, we are still locking them into place with the mortar. We are making sure that water is sealed out so that the moisture doesn't seep in and cause damage, that microbiological growth does not develop. We are aiming for what we call a beveled edge, somewhere around about 35 degrees. When water hits that edge, there's a slope, so it'll slide right down and off. We also don't want so much mortar that it's kind of taking away from the way that the ornaments originally looked when they were originally embedded into the concrete. Sponging compacts the mortar, and by compacting the mortar, we are eliminating pockets of air. And by doing that, we're really making sure that there is good contact between the mortar and the ornament. It also breaks up the surface. So by breaking up the surface, you're kind of increasing the ability of the mortar to both uh, absorb but also release moisture, which is important because we don't want moisture trapped um, in because that causes issues. And also we're texturing the surface. Um, when you trowel it, it's really smooth. It doesn't look like the rest of the sculpture, which is quite weathered and rough. And, um, and so 
by te- by kind of sponging it, you're you're creating a texture that's more rough looking, so it blends in better with the uh, the sculpture. we're gluing the fragments back onto the sculpture, we also need to clean. And it's outside, it's so dirty, it's so dusty. There's, you know, we also have pollution sediments. We have a train that's nearby, um, dirt and smog from cars. And so we need to remove all that grime. And you see me taking a syringe and what I have in there is ethanol. It's an alcohol. And I will then kind of spray the surface down with a bit of um, ethanol to remove any grease. It's a silicone adhesive. I try to spread it out very thin. It, again, you know, you don't need a whole lot to um, to reattach a fragment. So a very thin layer is best. Once I glue it in place, I check to see how good of a contact I have. And, you know, I just sort of pull on the fragment a little bit. Based on how it gives or doesn't give, I can tell how well adhered it is. And then I want to give it support. Support is just so important. On the surface that's vertical, gravity will take over. I let it cure overnight before I remove the tape. We have taken the time to literally touch every single ornament and see what is loose. This is just trying to make sure that these ornaments are stable and will stay on the sculpture for another 20 years. <laughs> 